Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We got some beers back behind us. Our beers are... I can't escape for even 10 minutes without screaming. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go shovel out one of the sea cans, get all of these flashlights, because I have like nine of them, uh, get my fucking parka on and go out there and fucking start reviewing out there because this is getting ridiculous. Today's beer is back behind me. Shiloh Beer Company's Blueberry Grunt. It is 5.9% alcohol by volume. It's a blueberry grunt. Mm. Mm. Almost feel like I'm uh, the Witcher. Mm. Mm. But with a blueberry. So let's, uh, let's try this, shall we? What do we have? Barley, hops, water, yeast, lactose, blueberry puree. Contains dairy ingredients. And they are brewed in Ottawa, Ontario. Oh my lord, I'm excited already. Um, just popped her open. Look at that. Oh, that looks like it was blueberry puree too, like... Like, look at that. Oh my god, even the head. Look at it. Even the head has a purplish hue. Oh, that, that is so awesome and so gross looking at the same time. That is full on blueberry puree. Like, you can't. It, it's hazy crazy. You, you cannot see shit through that. I don't even think you would be able to see it with the uh, super duper light up against it. Ugh. No, the super duper light cannot go through it. You go over it, and you can go under it. Cannot go through it. Wow. Let's uh, give her a sniff out of the can so we can get the can out of my damn hands. Mm, smells like blueberries. Uh, and you're getting, you're getting the natural sweet blueberries. You're getting those overly squishy sour blueberries out of the glass oh my god it's the same it's beautiful it looks heavy it feels heavy let's try it cheers that is thick that is a mouth experience right there It's almost vinous, to be honest with you. Um, you get the blueberry flavor all the way through both. You're getting both. Um, sorry, I was just counting how many beers I have left for a review. You're getting both uh, sweet and bitter. It's full body, full mouthfeel. You almost get like, you know when you pick your own blueberries? Or even if you buy them at the store, sometimes they still have little bits of the of the stem left on them. And you're just eating them and you get that little tiny bits of hardness in your teeth and stuff. It's it's almost as if that's in there. Um, daycares in, in Nunavik close for three weeks around Christmas. So our three-year-old is up late. Like, this is a late late review and because she doesn't have to go to daycare she stays up to watch uh movies and stuff with us um that's why you hear her usually you wouldn't because i would do this after she goes to bed and this is what we get daddy i want to watch a movie i know you want to watch a movie everybody in town knows you want to watch a movie a dada which is daddy in the nook to took a dada i want to watch a movie you're gonna watch a movie ah and Anana and Anana um, pineapple in French, but it's mom in Anuktitut. Um, she'll say the same thing to her. And if you're wondering, she learns at that daycare, and this it's like carbonated blueberry juice. You wouldn't know you're drinking a beer at all. It's 5.9% alcohol. It is a very dangerous beer because it's 5.9% alcohol and it does not taste like a beer at all. 
Um, out of 10, I can't give that under an 8.25. That's solid. That's good. Thank you, guys. Bye.